setting a record as the longest in North America, and it's right here in East Tennessee. Yeah, get ready. It's opening to visitors in just 10 days. We're talking about Gatlinburg's Sky Bridge. Many of you counting down the days to take that first step onto the new Gatlinburg attraction. At its highest point, imagine this, standing more than 140 feet off the ground. The 680-foot pedestrian suspension bridge peaking the interest, as you can imagine, of many locally and in many families all around the country. That's right. We have live coverage right now from the Sky Bridge. WATE 600 South reporter Blake Stevens braving it all. All right, Blake, what else do we need to know about this bridge? What's it like being up there? i got to ask you that. Yeah, well, Bo and Kristen, uh, it's amazing to, to put that uh, simply, but you know, we really haven't hyped this bridge up enough, to be honest. Sure, we've talked about it, but it's not until you take the sky lift up, make your way to the gateway of the sky bridge, that you see the views that this attraction is going to offer. Uh, undoubtedly, one of the most beautiful views of the mountains in Gatlinburg. Now, this, of course, is the bridge. Guys, I made a little history today. The first reporter to get video on North America's longest pedestrian suspension bridge did that today. Take a look. If you've been on the Skylift in Gatlinburg, I get it. You've done heights, but when you step off the Skylift and make your way here, let's just say your inner chicken reaches greater heights. Taking that first step, this is the moment of truth. Soon, you realize it isn't so bad after all, and the views were worth it. Marcus Watson, the marketing coordinator for Skylift Park, takes pride in showing off one of Gatlinburg's oldest attractions, and now its newest. It's definitely a big deal, being almost 700 feet long, the longest pedestrian suspension bridge in North America. It's something that not just the locals are excited about, but you know, everywhere across the country, people are asking about it. When's it going to be open? You know, what's the experience when you're up there? What's the view that you get? All these people inquiring about it, and it's gotten the whole area excited and gotten us excited too. So, I mean, we're, we're really stoked about it. It's made up of 129 cedar panels with three glass panels taking up 15 feet of the middle. The longest in North America, Gatlinburg's Sky Bridge, hanging with a length of more than two football fields. Watson says if you're walking with a purpose, you could get across it in about a minute and a half to two minutes. But with this view alongside you, that's not likely. The most beautiful view of the Smoky Mountains that you can find in Gatlinburg. You can see the three highest peaks uh, from the bridge within the Smokies, uh, which is Clemens Dome, Mount Guillot, and Mount LeConte. So the entire time that you're up there, there's a beautiful panoramic view, expansive view of the Smoky Mountains, and that kind of tops off the entire uh, experience when you're up there. So While he's thrilled the bridge is getting national attention, he says he's even more excited to see a spotlight shine on Gatlinburg and the Smoky Mountains. What's so cool about this job is in the mornings when you ride up and you step on that bridge and you look at this view, it, it never gets old. And uh, I, I can say that I believe we live in one of the most beautiful parts of the country. And that's something that these guests are going to see whenever they come up and step on that bridge. So while the record setting bridge is just holding me and Watson today, it's sure to pack hundreds around the country. So what's the weight limit? If you had 500 people on this bridge and each person weighed 400 pounds, it would still be under the maximum weight capacity. So in other words, you're you're safe and secure. <laughs> Safe and secure. All right, guys, I'm going to make history again. The first reporter to go live from North America's longest pedestrian suspension bridge. We're here. We're here. Take a look around us. This isn't staged. We are on it uh, right now. So what is it like being up here? Granted, the wind has been pretty calm today, but this is a very sturdy bridge. I suspected that we would do a little bit of swaying, but I haven't really experienced that. Like I said, it is uh, pretty sturdy. Now, Watson telling me safety will be a priority of theirs. Similar to what they do for the sky lift, there will be a team monitoring the weather and the wind, and they'll shut this bridge down if they have to. And hey, guys, take a look at my feet before we go. Uh, this is perhaps uh, the scariest part of this, or the most thrilling, depend on, depending on what kind of person you are. Uh, 150 feet beneath us right now, very scary stuff. But you know, all in all, this has been a great experience. Sometimes this job really has perks. Today is proof of that. <laughs> oh, We're no live doubt. from Gatlinburg's Sky Bridge, opening in 10 days. Blake Stevens, WAT6 on your side. Blake, we all cringed <laughs> in here when you looked down through the glass. How are you handling it out there? 
I'm a little nauseous, if I'm being honest. Uh, this is the bravest thing I've ever done, especially on television. So, I kind well, of we applaud you that, then, yes. my friend. Yes, you, nicely done. <laughs> Thank you, Blake. Be safe. <laughs> you would you walk that with purpose, as he was saying, get across in about a minute and a half if you want to. I, I would. You would stroll. I enjoy it? Is another question. Okay. I All would right. do it, but. Ooh. All right, everyone. For another <laughs> look at some of the beautiful views in store from the Sky Bridge in Gatlinburg, you can go to our website, wate.com. Click on the As Seen On section. It is a great view, though. Bravest thing he says he's ever done on Without TV. Without question. All right.